Well, our country's fight against terrorism has a new, seemingly unlikely ally, a former mob boss. Ralph Natale is now 82 years old. He ran the mafia in Philadelphia and says the greatest threat facing our nation today is terrorism. And when it comes to dealing with the terrorists, he says he knows exactly what to do. And he told me he is more than willing to do it himself. We sat down with him for our exclusive Fox News interview. Any man that didn't want to be a boss of a family had no, no manhood in him. He was the first American mafia boss to flip and testify for the government. Now former mobster Ralph Natale has written the story of his life and life in the mob called Last Dawn Standing, the secret life of mob boss Ralph Natale. I never heard a man that was innocent, a hard worker. I never touched a woman, never touched them, and I never touched a child. They never. Natale became head of the Philadelphia Mafia in the late 1990s, brought in by the legendary mob boss Angelo Bruno, who ended up getting shotgunned to death in his car in 1980. Natale has been luckier. He survived and thrived in the city of brotherly love before the feds finally caught up with him in 2005. He was sentenced to 13 years in prison on racketeering, drug, and bribery charges. But today, he worries about another threat, terrorism, and fears the nation has not done enough to defeat it. Do you think we've been too easy? Oh, we're, we're pussycats. On terrorism. On terrorists. Pussy On terrorists. Cats. Pussycats. Pussycats. What should we do? Kill them. Natali was astounded that the Manchester bomber, Salama Betty, was known to authorities and says, just like in the mob, he would take care of the problem himself. I wish I could get, I could get four more in me. The government would have to pay, but they would be glad to be. Soon as they would point out a crew, that this is where they're meeting, they're gonna go kill people, their own, their own kind, white, black, and they'll kill anybody. Give me their names, I'll take care of business. You, you would- I would kill them all. You I would, would kill, yes, you I would, would kill, get the, I still, yes, I will. You would kill the terrorists. I would kill them immediately, and then I would hang them in front of their houses, and then call the newspaper, the inquiry, yeah, what if the, listen, come and see what happened to those people. That's how you stop, you can't, you can't stop them. That's what I would do. I said, boy, I can make a nice, I can make a nice living, and I could enjoy it. I would be able to do it. And my wife said, you know, that's great. It's not crazy. His offer is one the government would likely refuse. But Natalie worries that terrorism will remain with us. I have 10 grandchildren, and I have 11 great-grandchildren. So long after I'm in the dirt, they're going to have to put up with this here. It's got to be done. It's got to be done now. There's an old Italian saying, if you don't listen to the first note, you'll never hear the rest of the song. That's what's happening today. They call me a, a killer, a, a cold-hearted. I never heard anybody that didn't deserve good dying. I never did. And when it comes my time, I just want to get off a shot if I got a, something with me. Well, Natalie's book, Last Dawn Standing, does detail his decades of life in the mob. And about those terrorists, well, my colleague from Fox 29 Philadelphia, the veteran correspondent Dave Schrottweiser, who's covered Natalie for years, well, he said, quote, the wise guys like to say the Fed should spend their time and resources tracking the terrorists, not mobsters. But with guys like Natalie around, he says, they better keep an eye on both. Natalie, though, insists he is retired, but as you heard, he told me, if need be, he's ready to protect our country his way. And boy, is he blunt. That was fascinating.